Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Ken Carpenter. Please like and subscribe, share, I don't know. Let's see where this channel goes. Anyway, this is a quick video about Starlink Mini Dish and Starlink services or even satellite service internet. When you live in places like this, this is Western New York, close to the Pennsylvania border, where there's really nothing. And the other telcos never really are interested in, you know, serving these ears anyway. Starlink is like a godsend so this is great the plans yeah they could be better with unlimited but it works right and with the new service where you could have the big dish and the mini dish on the same account you know I could put one this is a two acre property so I could put one <laughs> anywhere and use some ubiquity um, network and to mesh things around anyway uh, I'm gonna add another video right after this so you're gonna hear hey some what's up sound. YouTube Forgive me. Uh, another quick video here so what you're looking at is the original Starlink you know I got it I think 2020 it's crazy um, very new when I got it here's a big package in the boxes that came in you can see right there um, this is what it came in this one came shipped it massive so if you look at the new one now, the mini, it's right here. Small, tiny, compared to that, right? So that's the original, and that's the mini. If you notice, I also have a uh, T-Mobile hotspot here, right? But I, you know, I, I follow and watch some YouTubers and read comments of videos. Oh, I have 4G connection. So. A lot of people are complaining that well the price for the two for the new mini service is expensive. That's like 30 bucks a month and it gives you five gigs of uh I'm sorry, 50 gigs of uh download and you have to pay extra. People used to say this one expensive as well, right? Um because you only get I don't know 150 down and whatever. But when you live in the woods, when you live in a place where there's nothing around you, just nothing around you. And you pay a lot of money for HughesNet because they're charging 200 bucks a month for 50 meg down and 700 kilobots up. This is a bargain, right? So this is a deal. Um, I have the T-Mobile Wi-Fi home, whatever, 5G. And I had to trick them because it's not offered in my service. And I'll be lucky if I get 4G. Right, I do get some, I get, yeah, I actually do get 4G, but uh, the connection is two bars, right? So, um, you know, I got, I got this a couple of years back or two years ago thinking, ah, maybe we'll get 5G, but there's nothing happening here. Um, again, the price is worth it and the megabytes for this, the, sorry, the, the 50 gigs for this, if you need more, then you should show a different plan, right? But you could just take this and go anywhere, right? Look how small this is. And if you live in the city where you can get high speed or whatever, you don't need Starlink. You get that. You can get 5G or get one of the other um, telcos, Verizon or Cox Communication or whatever you have. But if you, if you want a backup connection, this is perfect. This tiny one right here, that's perfect. And you can suspend the plan. The, the power cord, so the power cord for the mini is super long, it's 50 feet, right? And I, I hear people complain about that too. And maybe there's some argument to that, I guess, because if you're going camping or in the woods, you know, if you aren't in the shade, and I guess a lot of people who are complaining don't go in the woods or camping but if you're in the shade and you need to get to the satellite it's not going to work right so you want to be able to put this way outside like way in the open area and you sleep under the the trees this other power supply came with this this router this is a new router i actually still have the original router that came with that but i switched it to this and then i don't even use this i use my own third-party router and they're similar. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but uh, yeah, they're similar. But again, again, I like that it's 50 feet long. 
because if you're camping under a shade to protect you from the elements or your tent is somewhere in the woods and you want the best um, sky view, you need a long cable. So stop complaining about how long the cable is. It's, it's perfect. I mean, yeah, they should make it. I could buy a small one if I want or a long one if I want. But yeah, perfect example. I don't know if I could zoom in. Um, oops. Yeah, if you imagine you're camping over there and you need the sky view. Then you just stretch it as far as you can. So the 50 feet is perfect. And about the plan, I know that I said the plan, some people say it's expensive. Well, it's not for you. If you live in a city, go get the T-Mobile hotspots or whatever you call that crap. If you live in the city, go get the fast internet. But this works great. Um, I'll get 200 meg sometimes. Sometimes I see 250 down, right? And um, I think 100 up once in a while. This I see 150 down. Um, it peaks at 170 sometimes, 150 down. And I think the most I've seen is 50 up, right? But again, um, when you listen to some of the YouTubers or even the comments, right? Oh, if you're in the middle of nowhere and you need connection, it works great. No, that's not how you think. It's climate change is going on. Climate change is going on. It's going on like in Florida when Hurricane Ian hit. I'll probably throw a video up so you guys can see how bad it is. Or just check my playlist or whatever. When Hurricane Ian hit, it was bad, right? There was like two weeks, three weeks of no communication. And they got some communication up in two weeks, but because a million people were trying to be on it, it was slow as hell, right? So with climate change, these things are important. And 50 bucks a month, right, to get help, to get a video how to do things, to, to, um, to talk to your loved ones, this is great. They're the same head, so I can always use this one as well. But anyway, just a quick video. Um, ask me any questions. And think about climate change. Um, I like independence. People are going to say, well, why you live in the woods? Well, I don't depend on the government. I got to take care of my own self, right? And I have an electric car because I could charge, like generate my own power to charge my electric car. But you guys with the big trucks can't make your own diesel fuel. Or your own gas. I mean, some people can. But you know what I'm trying to say. Independence. Think independence. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, it's nice living in places like this. Again, people come and say, well, why do you live there? Well, I like this place. Like these kind of places. Your own water, your own solar panels, your own... I have electric bikes. We could produce our own energy and be independent.